Hello friends, this video on equilibrium part 25 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching the video, please make sure that you have watched all the previous parts. Let's talk about ionic equilibrium solution. So as I told, in weak electrolytes, equilibrium is established. Not in strong, not neither in strong acid nor in strong base, we have equilibrium. We have equilibrium only in weak electrolytes. Please note this, we have equilibrium only in weak electrolytes. I want to uh, stress these points here. Only in weak electrolytes we have equilibrium. Why? Because in weak electrolyte partial ionization happens and then uh, the reverse reaction also happens, right? So there is the equilibrium and uh, we, uh, we can use all the equilibrium formula. But in case of strong acid, strong base, uh, ionization almost 100% complete. The reaction almost is complete in one direction in the reverse re direction the reaction doesn't happen so in that case in weak electrolyte we have equilibrium right between ions and unionized molecules for example i have this ab gives a plus and b minus ion so there are two ions and this unionized molecules so this type of equilibrium which involves ions and also the aqueous solution they are called ionic equilibrium please note ionic equilibrium is nothing but Equilibrium which involves ions in aqueous solution and this is generally for the weak electrolytes. This is called ionic equilibrium. Let me repeat once again. This happens only for weak electrolytes in the aqueous solutions where you have the equilibrium established between the ions and the ionized, unionized molecules. And the fraction of total molecules of the electrolytes that is ionized called degree of ionization. I told right sometimes it is 30 percent, sometimes 40 percent, sometimes 10 percent. It depends on uh, my acid or base of the electrolytes. So this, the fraction of molecules that get ionized is called degree of ionization for that particular electrolytes. So for a weak electrolyte, the degree of ionization is inversely proportional to the concentration. And why this is so? Because in the very dilute solution, if it is a very dilute solution, the whole of the weak electrolyte will disassociate in the form of ions. If it is very, very weak, if it is very weak, if it is very weak and very dilute, then it will dissociate more. Correct? Because here we all talk about mole per liter. Mole per liter. Correct? Now, if you are increasing the volume by diluting it, if this is increased, this will, the whole thing will decrease, right? If this thing will decrease, the reaction will move in forward direction. Simple Lee Chatelier principle. And then it will get ionized more. Correct. So, a weak elect electrolyte, if you make it more dilute, it dissociates. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.